So there comes a time in every bedroom producer's life where they're asked to leave that bedroom. I know. It's not the most comfortable situation, but at some point every baby bird has to leave the nest. You've spent so much time perfecting your craft, it only makes sense to assume you'll have to share that skill outside of your comfort zone. And that might be visiting another studio, or even going on a plane somewhere to record an artist that you've never worked with. And while this can provide its own challenges, there's one thing that you have to understand no matter what the circumstance is. You need to have gear that you can take with you wherever you go, and it has to be suitable to your needs and the situation. Hopefully you don't have to go record drums somewhere because that brings its own list of challenges, but by the end of this video, you'll have an idea for what your setup should look like when you're on the go. Actually, I might just make a little tune as I go through this. I kind of pre-proed it out before and it's a song called Drifter but we'll see how the video goes. So what's happening fam? Miami here with JST and do you remember in that earlier video when I was talking about my wish list? Well, I managed to get my hands on one of those things and we'll touch on that more in a second. The first thing you're gonna notice about this portable setup is that it isn't really expensive. If you take out the computer, it's literally cheaper than just that SSL Fusion that I have in my rack. I've had clunky portable setups before where I'd be lugging around the laptop or putting my iMac in the original box with the hand Handle, but that's just not practical in most cases. So let's get into it. I'm gonna skip the computer and talk about the interface for a second. The Antelope Zengo Synergy Core. Now, this is what I had on my wish list, and let me tell you, it's changed a lot of things for me. It's a really slick design, and I've gotten used to the Antelope platform since I got my Antelope Orion. Now, the preamps are next level, some of the best that money can buy, and its conversion is at the highest tier. Antelope has their own amazing plug-in line, and it has the simplest thing that I loved about the Audion ID4. I said this in that video before. Two little headphone inputs in the front to make it really easy to work with a friend and not need to carry monitors around. Now, let me show you what this thing sounds like on this bass line that I came up with. You'll really notice how amazing the bass sub is, but I'm trying to touch bass with my subs. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and like button if you love this bass line that I'm about to lay down. And do not forget, my transition game is still crazy. Now, you might have noticed in that clip that I was wearing headphones, which is the next important part on your to-go setup. Uh, the Rode NTH100s have become a go-to for me because they're extremely durable, they sound great, they lock to your ears so there's minimal bleed, and the ear cuffs say which side uh, the headphones are, which I don't understand why every headphone doesn't do that. But yeah, there's no way for me to show you how great those sound at the price point, but just trust me, at 150 bucks, you cannot go wrong with these things. But then the question becomes, what are you using this interface and headphones with? And that brings us to number three, a laptop or a Mac mini. I mean, obviously, right? Trying to rely on someone else's computer or trying to bring something less portable just doesn't make any sense. The reason I include the Max Mini in this setup is you can just hook it up to a person's display because everyone has a display monitor, right? No need to carry that with you. But if you don't have the funds to pony up for that Apple M1 Mac Mini, which is under a grand, but still, you know, sizable amount of money, you can basically use any laptop that has 16 gigs of RAM and at least an i5 processor. i7 is obviously preferred here, but an i5 will do you just fine if you aren't using crazy CPU intensive plugins. I have an HP laptop that's kind of a monster for how old it is, 2017, and it's still hanging pretty well. And this brings us to number four. Now, we're gonna talk about a really useful piece of gear here that goes for every type of production. Whether you just play piano or you need a beat pad, this combines all your needs into a simple little box. The Akai Professional MPK Mini MK3 Keyboard Controller. These names are really long on some of these things, right? Like, <laughs> is it just me? This thing is literally a hundred bucks, but will change the way that you produce forever. It's tiny and compact, and it helps when you need to lay down a piano melody really quick 
or need to assign samples to your beat pad. And what's really cool about them is they have velocity sensitive pads. That means if you're doing something by hand, you don't have to worry about going back and randomizing the velocity because you're already doing that by the touch of your fingertips. And that's also really important when laying down synth or piano lines if you wanna make things sound hyper realistic. This will basically cover your production needs on a budget, but what if you're planning on doing vocals and it's not just production stuff, right? And that brings us to number five, the Slate Digital VMS ML1 microphone. Now, this mic right here, this is the old school one. I don't even think you can get this anymore. It's the vintage one that looks like the U47. Sounds the same, but I will say clients do prefer this when they see this mounted up versus the other one. That's just me. But yeah, I'm sure by now that you know what this is, but for those of you that don't, uh, it's literally a virtual mic locker. With this one microphone, you can switch between preamps and different microphone emulations with the click of a button. And it's found a way to basically one-to-one -one these emulations, including favorites like the U87, U67, 251, and the U47 and even more. And that's great because certain microphones sound better on a female and others sound better on a male vocalist. But with this, even if you pick the wrong one while recording, you can change it after the fact with the click of a button. I'll show you an example of how that sounds on this song. I always pair the ML1 with Howard Benson vocals because it just makes it simple to have an all-in-one vocal chain with two plugins that's light on CPU. Let's check this out. If you absolutely loved how that vocal clip sounded, just make sure to download your 14 day free trial of Howard Benson vocals now. And also, if you love those vocals, make sure to give Freddie a follow on Instagram because that is going to be an amazing song when it's all said and done. So let's go over these one more time. Actually, wait, let me add one more, um, a bag to put all of this stuff in. I literally use this little knapsack here, but Motu makes a little laptop and interface bag that will also fit the headphones, mic, and MIDI controller. Just think about this, man. You can literally fit an entire studio in just a bag that isn't even heavy makes things really simple. And you can find another way of carrying stuff around, but this makes the most sense if you ask me. And I think that bag's like 60, 70 bucks. I'll put it down in the description below and a couple of other options for you guys too. So let's go over all of these one more time. The Antelope Zen Go, which I finally got, Rode headphones, laptop or Mac mini, the Akai MIDI keyboard controller, Slate VMS ML1 with Howard Benson vocals, and a bag if you have like an extra 50 to 75 bucks. The main thing to remember here is these are just the key components. You can use a different interface that makes sense for you or different headphones or laptop, etc. But all that matters is that you have the tools you need when you're out on the go. Have you ever had to make a last minute portable rig? I mean, what do you think of mine? What are you using on your own? Leave it in the comments below and I will chat with you fine people like I always do. If you're an engineer on the come up, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, you only have to do it one time. And tap that bell for notification so when a video drops, you know the location. Until next time, I am out of here. Mic drop, <laughs> except as engineers know, I'd never really drop this thing because that get really expensive, even if it is a piece of shirt. <laughs> Later.